Graduation is Kanye West's top selling album, and a major reason it was so successful was its revolutionary and genius production. With Graduation, Kanye wanted to break through and cement himself as a rapper who would be here to stay. A kind of graduation in the rap game following his past two college themed releases. So after touring with massive rock bands like the Rolling Stones and U2, Kanye wanted to elevate his sound and make stadium music. Going on tours and doing stadiums and just hearing the type of music that is really connecting with people, and I wanted to make something that was a soundtrack for people's lives. Uh, the songs had themes that people could really relate to. He achieved this huge stadium sound by building around samples with lush synthesizers, strings, and iconic drum patterns that could resonate with large crowds. So today we're going to break down the genius techniques behind Kanye West's production on his iconic stadium sounding album. Graduation. Before we get into the things that made Graduation sound so big, we need an inspiring and soulful sample just like the one on The Glory. So I'm gonna go through the Elements of Soul loop kit and I'm looking for a sample that feels inspiring and also feels good to listen to. All right, so we're inside the Elements of Soul loop kit right now and we're just gonna go through and start listening to some samples. That one's dope, but I feel like we need something kind of more inspirational. And I'm trying to find something that sounds a little bit more like that glory sample. Mm. Yeah, that's nice and simple. A lot of room to add some stuff on top of that. I think I would go with that one. Now, to give some context on how the sample was actually made, let's break down the elements that are inside of it. We have piano chords, vocals, and then in the second section, we have some supporting melodies with brass, strings, and bells that help fill out the sample. But let's take a look at the chords. Now that we have the piano, just like the sample in Glory, I want some soulful female vocals on top of that. So I grabbed this vocal chop from the Elements of Soul vocal kit, and this is what we got. If you listen closely on the Glory, you can also hear some nice strings that act as supporting melodies for the sample, and it also really adds to that anthemic cinematic feeling. So to fill the sample out, I added some strings, violins, brass, bass, and some bells to help support the main idea and make it sound big. After that, we just pitch and speed it up and our sample is completely done. If you listen to I Wonder on Graduation, you can hear that it sounds like the sample's almost playing all the way through in its original order, but there is still some subtle chops that just help give it that iconic chop sample Kanye kind of feeling. What it means, what it means. So we're gonna take inspiration from that and we're gonna add some subtle chops to our sample. All right, so the first thing I did is I grabbed our sample right here and then I just dragged it and chose quick sampler optimized. And once we've got it inside the sampler, I chose beat divisions for the, the slicing mode and I've chopped it up every two beats so we have more of a slow chop that sounds a little bit more natural than a bunch of short chops. And then just to soften up the chop so there's not so much clicking, I just dragged the attack over just a little bit. So to add that chopped kind of vibe while still keeping the same order of our sample, I just arranged it exactly as it's playing, but just chopping it up into audio and playing it out in a pattern gives it a whole new texture. It just sounds a little bit more choppy and a little bit more sampled, even though it's all playing in the same order as it was before. But for the second half, I wanted to find some parts of the sample that didn't have as much vocals so that there was more room to kind of build around for the rest of our beat. So I found that second section with those strings and bells, and I ended up chopping up a more repetitive pattern like this. Ah! 
Now, for one of the most iconic and different parts of graduation, we've got those anthemic, huge sounding drums. Kanye wanted this album to hit hard and be able to resonate with a huge crowd of people. And his more complex drum patterns on college dropout and late registration can be hard for a larger crowd of people to connect with. So for graduation, Kanye went super simple with the drums, but he still achieved this huge anthemic sound by only using two to three drums on the tracks. And he does this by layering those sounds. But the most iconic graduation drums that I can think of are the ones on Good Morning. So to create something similar, I grabbed two live kick sounds from the Elements of Soul drum kit and I layered them together into one to make them sound super big and anthemic. And then I laid down this super simple pattern. But if you are paying attention to the kicks on Good Morning, they have a lot more rhythm and bounce than that. And this bounce is because of a kick that's playing at a lower volume than the main kick that's kind of serving as a little bit of a boom. So let me add in a third kick so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, to enhance that anthemic feeling that we're going for, I grabbed this crazy clap from the Elements of Soul drum kit. And to make this sound, I actually recorded myself clapping about 60 times in different positions in my room to kind of emulate the sound of a huge stadium all clapping to the beat together. Now, to finish off our drums, I took some inspiration from the first single off graduation, Can't Tell Me Nothing. As you can tell, it has that similar stadium sounding kick and snare pattern, but there's also this nice acoustic ride that fills out the beat and adds some character. So I grabbed this live ride from my Elements of Soul drum kit and put down this dumb simple pattern. Now we've got a great skeleton and foundation for our beat, but if there's one thing that Kanye does on graduation, it's take it to that next level by adding huge analog synths to give it a ton of character and power. And I'll show you how you can do that in a second, but before that, if you wanna start making your own vintage samples like Kanye uses across his best albums, I dropped this insane Elements of Soul kit a few weeks ago, and it includes all the sounds I've used in this beat so far, as well as 75 samples, over a thousand live instrument one-shots and phrases, vocal chops, a full drum kit with real live recorded drum sounds, and so much more. It also comes with a full in-depth course on how to make your own vintage samples with over seven plus hours of uncut video where I don't hold back any sauce at all. So if you want to learn how to make your own authentic samples from scratch, click the first link in the description down below. So now for arguably the most iconic part of graduation, the heavy, lush analog synths. And that was the key to, to, to add more synthesizers and make it more stadium. Synths are heard all across the production on graduation, but some of my favorite examples of those synth chords are on Good Morning and Flashing Lights. Morning. As you can hear, Kanye uses super punchy and powerful synths on these beats. And these really bring that big anthem sound to life. So to do something similar and build on top of our sample, I duplicated the chord progression that we used in the piano and I put it on a sawtooth synth chord preset that has a ton of high end and adds a ton of energy into this beat. Then I grabbed this crazy thick entering the 80s synth bass preset from the analog lap bank inside of Elements of Soul. Once you hear it with the drums, you can see how this is gonna start to come together nicely. And this already sounds pretty good, but Kanye as a producer first never lets the beats be stagnant and boring. They're constantly evolving. So we're gonna take this main idea that we have and build on top of it to progress and evolve this beat, just like Kanye did on Stronger. He changed it up and really gave it that anthemic sound by adding this four to the floor kick that gave Stronger the energy it needed for that iconic hook. So let's replicate that by copying our kick over on every beat in our track.
And to make this section of the beat sound even more big, I've taken the same synth chords from before and then I duplicated a higher octave of the chords on top of it to help add even more energy. Now we've almost got that authentic graduation sound down, but on tracks like Flashing Lights, there's these huge lush cinematic strings that really add a bunch of anthemic feeling and a bunch of character to the beats. So to add that same huge sound to our beat, I grabbed six different live violin one shots from the Elements of Soul kit. Three long violin one shots and three short violin one shots. So I followed the root notes of our chords and I created this pattern with the one shots. And all together, our graduation style beat sounds like this. If you like the sounds that I used in this beat, you don't want to miss out on the Elements of Soul kit. It's going to be the first link in the description down below. And if you want to learn about Kanye West's college dropout production, click this video right here.